Sunday night football, the Chicago Bears heading to the Green Bay Packers. The Packers are a 13-point favorite, total of 43.5. And, And man, what a low, low total for somebody to be favored by two touchdowns here. I, like I will, I will make this easy. Like just the total itself, along with that spread, I'm going to take the Bears at plus thirteen here. The Bears obviously have not looked great, right? There's, there's nothing, there's nothing really good you can say about the Chicago Bears right now. But you know, I, I think their defense can hang a little bit. I think that their offense can put up, you know, something on the Packers. And if you get into a low scoring game like this. I, I believe that they can keep it within two touchdowns. So I will I will take the Bears here. Yeah, I think I would take the Bears also. This is too many points. I don't I don't like betting against Aaron Rodgers right now. And you know, this is something that we don't talk enough about because for some reason all the years that Aaron Rodgers has played, the media has just protected him and not, not been critical at all of him ever. But like Everybody crushed the Patriots all the time. And they crushed Tom Brady and Bill Belichick for the record. And they say, oh, look at that division. Look how terrible it is. But ha- have we seen what Aaron Rodgers got to go up against for the last, you know, <laughs> decade and a half of his career? Nobody yeah, has anything yeah. to say about that? <laughs> Nobody wants to give them an asterisk next to their record every year? I mean, I, I, you could say that about, about several teams, right? Like, I don't know about several teams, but definitely, definitely the Packers with the the Vikings being, you know, the, I guess the, it either rotates between the Vikings or the, or the, uh, Bears, the Bears being the okay team, but they always choke in a big spot, you know, yeah. and then the Lions just being garbage no matter what happens to them. Yeah, this season. But you just somehow always get the pass for that. Uh, yeah, the Packers are nine and three, and then the Vikings five and seven. The Bears four and eight, and then the Lions are now one and ten. Of course, with that big win last week. Yeah, I mean, I'm I'm with you. I'm looking at uh, at the teams that they have beaten. They beat the Lions. They won at the 49ers. Beat the Steelers at the Bengals at the Bears. Uh, they only beat the Bears by ten the last time they played earlier in the season. They played Washington at the Cardinals. They lost to the Chiefs. That was without Aaron Rodgers. They beat the Seahawks. Lost to the Vikings and beat the Rams. So, yeah, yeah it it. Anyway, yeah. I, I, you know, not not that they're not great, not that they're not unbelievable, not that they're not deserving of all the the things that they get. I just I just find it strange that over the last you know fifteen years, everybody's been super critical of the Patriots' run as you know being not not what it appears, but nobody says anything about the Packers' run. That's it. You're you're not wrong about that. You're which not is, wrong. Which is both both of them very impressive. Yes, yes, incredibly so. Uh, maybe the Patriots a little more because there's actually hardware at the end for them, but okay. but yes. I, <laughs> I know I have to say that so that you don't have to. <laughs> Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.